Hi students, myself, I'm Hatira, working as a physics teacher from past uh, 10 years. So today I'm going to discuss with you regarding to the CBSC term 1 exam where physics portion physics is part of science exam so this is a very precious exam for class 10 students so be clear with the questions and in this video I am going to discuss every concept which is related to the question and I will give 100% clarity towards the concept and as well as the question also so please try to listen and utilize this uh, lecture to get the good score and this video is specially on the exam idea book and what's uh, I'm giving it so please try to concentrate on this first question this is a, a ray of light traveling in air and falls obliquely on the surface of compound it will be so very simple thing and very easy question and basic question is given let us take uh, there is a surface of water there is a water is it down so hence uh, light is uh, coming from air to the water and uh, this medium is called as uh, air this is called as uh, water and you are aware of, of the concept of uh, refractive indices it is uh, gives the density optical density of the medium that is absolute refractive index of the medium is uh, nothing but uh, speed of light in vacuum by speed of light in medium we will call it absolute refractive index so that absolute refractive index uh, is inversely proportional to the speed of light as the c is nothing but constant which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second hence we can say if a medium is more optically denser speed is less if speed it changes when light is traveling from one medium to the another medium then light is a bends and travels through the medium the bending and traveling of light through the medium is called as a the refraction of light means here clearly we can know that there is a refraction is taking place this is nothing but incident ray when it is incident on the interface of water and uh, air then actually light need to travel in straight path because uh, light travel in rectilinear motion but as there is a medium it gets changes then we can say that light is a benson travel in the other medium so due to the variation of refractive indices so here the refractive indices of air is nothing but a one refractive indices of water is a practically 1.33 hence the light is a bend and travel in the water so answer for this question is a uh, it a deviate towards a normal i hope concept and as well as question is clear to you next see the second question the diameter of the reflecting surface of spherical mirror is called so what is mean by spherical mirror first thing what is mean by spherical mirror the mirrors which are made from the sphere and coated with the silver or red oxide paint 
they are called as uh, the spherical mirrors the reflecting surface is curved inward then such a mirror is called as a concave mirror this is a concave the reflecting surface is curved outward then this mirror is called as a convex so these are the two types of spherical mirrors then the diameter this is nothing but diameter not spheres diameter it is diameter of the reflecting surface so it is called as a aperture so the diameter of the spherical mirrors is called as a aperture so answer for this question is nothing but a a next my dear students read the question once and twice till you will get clarity so first see that choose incorrect statement they were not asking the correct statement here they are asking the incorrect statement so when such a question will comes in exam please do one thing round the word incorrect so that you will not commit the mistake that is the height of an object taken as a positive as a height as object is usually placed above the principal axis mean this question is clearly indicating regarding to the concept of a sign convention so i will give you the clear idea on the sign convention please try to listen let us take a sign convention what is this sign convention cartesian sign convention let us say you have an idea in mathematics of drawing a graph similar same idea is enough to deal in physics also let us take this is nothing but origin this is a positive x axis this is nothing but positive y axis negative y axis and a negative x axis sorry it is positive so if you see if there is a concave mirror is placed over this uh, then the concave mirror have coating on the bulging side this is called as a pole of the mirror so the distances which are measured left of the pole is taken as a negative the distances which are measured the right of pole is called as a positive above the principal axis heights is nothing but a positive below the principal axis heights is nothing but a negative so this information is enough and one more thing very important thing all distance are measured from pole only so all the distance are measured in mathematics in graphs origin no? so similarly in our con, uh, spherical mirrors also all the distances are measured from the pole so if you will see now the thing is very simple so first statement is clearly true it is next a height of image should be taken as positive for both virtual and as well as real my dear students if the image is uh, image is virtual uh, then it is above the principal axis it is virtual case if image is real okay if it is real then the below the principal axis will be but he is saying both is a positive only he see so this statement is incorrect and remaining statements you can see that is negative sign value of magnification indicates a real image so clearly uh, try to see these two points try to see that and remember this is very important in case of magnification first point if a magnification is a positive m is a positive then it is nothing but a virtual image virtual so remember v virtual positive remember it. next magnification is negative which indicates uh, it is a, a real image okay now it is real image so 
here in the question a negative magnification is real yes true this statement is okay and the positive magnification is indicates the virtually so this is also true so incorrect they are asking so we have to go with the simple thing that is nothing but a option b is correct here so answer is b answer is b correct statement means three correct will come but incorrect statement they were asked so we will go with the option is nothing but a b next question number 4 try to read the question carefully so if the magnification of the lens is a positive see this magnification which i written here in the above statement this is a valid for both mirrors and as well as lenses this is valid for valid for mirrors and for lenses so here it is a positive positive i told you vp virtual positive so it is nothing but a virtual only one option is there go with the option b is a correct answer here next an object is placed at the center of curvature of concave mirror the distance between the image and pole is so this question is related to the image formation by lens sorry mirror concave mirror so there is a totally six cases are possible here so what they are let us take this is a concave mirror so when an object is placed in front of the concave mirror let us this is a pole and this is a focus and this is center of curvature so one case is nothing but when object okay object image and characteristics okay so object is at infinity at infinity image will form at focus at focus or simply if you want to write five cases you can write easily that is at infinity beyond c at c between c and f and at f at these are the cases are which are possible so serial number if you write it so here if you see the thing is 1 2 3 4 5 cases are possible so reverse this you written like this no? reverse right so at infinity between c and f okay and at c and uh, it is nothing but a uh, Uh, at infinity. So he asked the distance between the image and the pole. So if object is placed at C, image also formed at C. So C can be written as 2F. So answer is equal to 2F. And we will clear the concept here itself somewhat in deep by going uh, into it is. so if you see what is the character 6 so real inverted okay here also real inverted here also real inverted here also real inverted coming to their magnification so when object is placed at infinity it is very very small means a highly diminished image will form next a diminished image will form next equal to size of object will form next uh, enlarged image will form or we will call it as a magnified okay next uh, it is nothing but uh, the highly enlarged image will form so these are the characteristics if you want their magnification that magnification also i will write in the diagram so total six cases are possible five only i explained six case is very very important that is when object is placed between uh, between pole and uh, focus then image is formed behind the mirror behind the mirror behind the mirror or inside the mirror will form and the 
image characteristics is a virtual very very important question this is and this is i'm expecting one question from this uh, uh, concept on notes in exam virtual erect magnified so why important this case is uh, in all cases concave mirror is forms nothing but uh, real image but uh, here in this case it forms a virtual image. so examiner is focus on this question is very very high so please try to concentrate on that question so magnification here is nothing but em is greater than a one that is positive because virtual image virtual positive here it is a magnification it is a far greater than one here magnification is greater than sorry minus one here also greater than minus one it is equal to minus one here magnification less than minus one at infinity it is nothing but a equal to sorry far less than less than minus one so here the answer is completed up to here so this concept is clear about the formation of images diagram drawing and everything i will discuss in the next uh, possible videos please try to concentrate so next so next question see that sixth question if the magnification of the lens has a negative value negative previously we have seen the question positive negative means it is real image so focal length of f is equal to r by 2 valid focal length is valid for the both mirrors whether it is a concave or convex it is valid for both the mirrors answer is nothing but a c next the image of a distance of an object is obtained on the screen by using a concave mirror the focal length of the mirror can be determined by using the distance between so very simple if you want to know the focal length then we have to place the screen near to the focus it forms a dot size if there is a rays of light the parallel rays of light is incident from the sun onwards then this rays of light will converge on this uh, screen so thus this distance from the pole to the screen is called as a focal length so here the answer is we have to measure the distance from mirror to the screen is a correct answer next question number 9 which of the following which of the following can a parallel beam of light which of the following can make a parallel beam of light when light from the point source incident on it is so whenever there is a object is placed in front of the concave mirror at the focus then a ray of light is passes through the focus then the rays are parallel to principal axis means a concave mirror will send the parallel beam of light when there is a point source is placed this is source so similarly if this is a convex lens in front of uh, the foc lens at focus if there is a object is placed then if rays of light is passes through the focus they are also becomes a parallel so concave mirror concave mirror convex lens will form make the parallel beam of light so answer is a concave mirror as well as a convex lens next under which of the following condition concave mirror can form real larger than the actual real image of larger than the actual size now only i told you the very clear answer to you that is a, a real image they are asking real image larger than it is so see 
look at that when it is forms a real image larger than its size when object is placed between c and f between c and f between c and f it forms a real image larger than its size so our answer is nothing but between c and f is a correct answer so if you see that object is placed object is placed distance is equal to radius of curvature means center of curvature no it again forms at center of curvature less than the focal length yes it is forms a virtual enlarged but not real enlarged so object is placed between focus and center of curvature yes absolutely true here the answer is next rays from the sun converges at a point 15 cm a rays converging at a point 15 cm in front of the concave mirror then this is called as a focal length where should an object is placed so that the image equal to size now only we told at c very special case for us at c we feel place then we will say as this is nothing but a equal size of object image will form so focal length is 15 cm then c is nothing but that distance is called as radius of curvature that is 2 into f that is 2 into 15 which is equal to 30 cm so in front of it how much distance 30 cm in front of mirror we have to place to get the equal size as a object next this question is nothing but the rules of drawing ray diagrams a ray of light is passes of the focus it will becomes a parallel to principal axis so here there is only one option is correct so if you see so option is nothing but b is correct here next which of the following uh, diagram is correct for the ray of light incident on a concave mirror so it is very simple that is a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus so very simple question so answer is nothing but uh, this is a wrong it is not going to focus it is also wrong it is going through the center of curvature so answer is nothing but this is a wrong so this is correct answer next so this is a very simple question the what you are given a water mustard oil grazer in kerosene in which of the these medias are a light incident obliquely at same angle would bend most would bend most means a speed will be very less speed should be very less then it should have more refractive index which is having a most refractive index is a glazering is the answer. Okay, so glazering is nothing but an answer. Next, listen to the question 15. A child is standing in front of the magic mirror. He finds the image of his head is bigger. Head is bigger. I told you the mirror which forms virtual enlarged is only one is called as a concave okay the middle portion of body is same size the mirror which forms virtual same size these all are forming virtual image only virtual same size virtual same size is called as a mirror name a plane mirror plane mirror uh, magnification is very very important uh, virtual positive it is plus one as a topic has come I am explaining legs are smaller means uh, the virtual smaller image is formed by the only mirror is called as a convex so here all topics are covered related to the virtual images so this mirror is forms a virtual image but a magnification greater than plus one this mirror convex mirror always forms a virtual image less than a this mirror is, is equal to 1 
so you can clearly say that now concave plane convex is our answer concave plane convex is our answer next this is a question important 16th question you can feel as important two lenses of power sir it's nothing but 2.50 another one is nothing but uh, 3.75 minus are combined to form a compound lens so this is a positive magnification is nothing but convex another one is negative magnification which is nothing but a concave both are combined as like this then its a focal length in centimeter will be how much will be its focal length so for that sake uh, you have to be aware of the the total focal length formula or otherwise uh, here the powers are given then the two power lenses are combined uh, total power is equal to p1 plus p2 p1 is nothing but 2.5 minus 3.75 on subtraction we are getting 1.25 diopters si unit of power is nothing but a diopters so as we are familiar with the concept of power power is nothing but reciprocal of focal length in diopters so focal length is equal to 1 by power in meters in centimeters uh, 100 by p centimeters so 100 by 1.25 that can be written as a 100 by 125 by 100 we can write so 25 table uh, you can do cancellation here 25 table uh, Pfizer here four zero five one zero five two zero. So it is multiplied. Sorry, here it is negative. Here also negative. Answer is a four twenty zero eighty centimeters is answer. So answer D is correct. I hope you are understood this one. Next seventeenth question. This is a rare question. You can find a man is runs towards a plane mirror with a two meter per second. relative speed of his image with respect to the plane mirror is uh, directly you can write this is a uh, relative speed as object is going with a 2 meter per second image also will come with a 2 meter per second 2 meter per second and both are opposite direction relative speed will become v relative is equal to 2 into v that is speed of a man so that is 2 into 2 is 4 meter per second So answer is four meter per second. Next, eighteenth question: An object is placed twenty centimeter in front of plane mirror. The mirror is moved two centimeter towards the object. The distance between the position of original and final images seen in the mirror is. So this question is very simple question. Let us feel this is nothing but a plane mirror initially. This is a plane mirror initially. So object is placed at 20 centimeter in front of this. Image also forms at 20 centimeters only. So total distance will become uh, total will become 40. Initially 40 centimeters. But later what happened? Two uh, centimeters move forward. So object will be similar. It will become 18 centimeter. Image is forms at uh, inside also 18 centimeters. So, how much distance is uh, there between the original and uh, final? Means uh, t final is become thirty six eighteen plus eighteen. So, the difference between them is nothing but four uh, centimeters. Okay. So, difference is answer they were asked uh, between the original and as well as the final. The difference is nothing but uh, we can say forty minus thirty six is equal to four centimeters. So delta t, or you can take a distance is nothing but yes you can take. Next, my dear students. Question number ninety. A ray of light strikes a plane mirror PQ at an angle of incident sixty degrees, thirty degrees. it is reflected from the plane mirror and strike the second plane mirror qr at an angle right angle to the first one 
to the mirror then the angle of reflection from the second mirror is so let us place this is the first plane mirror which is the right angle to the second this is a p q and this is a r so a ray of light is get incident it is getting incident and this is at an angle of instant 30 degrees see try normal here it is 30 degrees glancing angle is nothing but 60 degrees if it is if incident with 30 according to law of reflection eh, loss of reflection loss of reflection first law states that angle of incident is always equal to angle of reflection as angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection then uh, if it is incident with 30 it must reflect with 30 then glancing angle is 60 degrees this is 90 this will become uh, 30 degrees it's the internal angle of triangle eh? sorry here internal angle of triangle this is so total should become 180 these two together are 150 remaining angle is 30 degrees will be dry and normal here this will become uh, 60 degrees incident reflection also should be 60 degrees so angle of reflection from the second mirror is nothing but 60 degrees next question number 20 which position of an object will produce magnified virtual image starting only i explain only if the object is less than the focal length in front of the concave mirror then it produces a virtual and large image so object should place less than focal length less than focal length means uh, this is a pole this is a focus so less than focal length means pole is considered as zero always this is nothing but 15 centimeter between 15 and 0 it forms a virtual enlargement so this option is greater than 15 greater than 15 greater than 15 only answer is 10 okay so this is uh, how we have to answer the question remaining questions i will explain in the next video have a great day my dear students thank you